I if you lo- look I at like, him I like from this across kid. the room. Yeah, that's, no. I <laughs> And you close your eyes no, and you squint. He's really I, handsome. Okay, <laughs> no, I said, if you didn't know your dad <laughs> and he was walking across the room and you saw him, you would say he's a handsome man. So they turned that around and said, oh, if he's far away and you can't see him. Ha ha. So, you know, when I met your dad and I saw that he had a lot of the values I had decided I wanted to find in a person, Mm -hmm. you know, my uh, background as far as my parents was the divorce. Mm -hmm. I just never thought that I could be married. Yeah. Um, I loved children, but I never thought I could be married, which means I never thought I could have children because marriage ended with divorce. Yeah. They went hand in hand. So as you always say, you said you didn't want me. You said said, you didn't want to be a mom. Yes. You told me that you did not want to be a mom. I didn't. If I, you know, it's hard. You don't know. You, you're a product of horrible food, but a very, (laughs) very sense of security childhood. Yeah. My goal was to make sure the kids had a wonderful sense of security. And I always say that my children were raised by a village. I had wonderful grandparents. My children are so fortunate that way. Their grandparents are very, very active in their lives growing up. And we have a little street neighborhood that we had wonderful neighbors and friends friends and my children were raised by a village yeah. so i didn't know and that my was step-mom. gonna happen yes miss faith mm-hmm. so i didn't know that's how my life was gonna be well yeah obviously so no when your dad and i first got married you know that was one of the things you wanted kids right away and i wanted to wait mm-hmm. so you got no. married you were 24 and yes. he was 26 and how did you guys meet um we met through a dating service through the newspaper through the newspaper because that's how they did it then and um there was an ad and i was at work <laughs> And the ad said, call 24 hours. There's a recording. And I thought, oh, I'm going to call this number because I always <laughs> had to, you know, for my job, check the paper. Yeah. And I saw it. I'm going to call this number. And I called the number and somebody answered the phone. So I had a two second thought, hang up or say something. Well, I didn't hang up. And it was him on the phone? It, or was, it was the, the lady oh, okay. who ran the triple A dating service. <laughs> and she talked me into going and I my roommate at the time Twyla and we both went down there and since it was so hard to have women in the dating service they had lots of men but not a lot of women and you filled out a questionnaire and they would match you with someone that was in that realm of what you were looking for yeah. so he was in that realm I wanted someone who had a job a car a savings was very family oriented didn't drink didn't smoke and that's your dad were there any red flags when you well guys, besides him being really cheap he's a lot like like your husband he's very sports oriented yeah and he was always either playing ping pong or bowling or in this league and that league and when you're dating you're thinking oh ha, ha, he's fun you didn't know that it's gonna take up a lot of their all time. of his yeah like, all of his time mm-hmm. yeah that's pickleball for me yes. pickleball is my arch and who, nemesis. Who, who introduced your husband to pickleball my second arch nemesis my dad <laughs> yes <laughs> who would be playing with him right now if he hadn't had multiple injuries and surgeries yeah i mean when when logan and i first started dating there would be times that i would come home from work and i'd be like oh my gosh logan's truck is here he's surprising me he was well we're gonna hang out no he was out playing basketball with dad or pickleball with dad or tennis with dad you isn't name that it. wonderful i mean i'm very grateful you've, for you've it got i'm your still dad going to complain to i know play with. the sun he always wanted yes he doesn't <laughs> mind if it's hot outside yeah and he has to sweat <laughs>